TikTok is officially getting banned in the US. Well, kind of. More specifically, the app is getting banned in the US state of Montana, where a bill named SB 419 was passed with a vote of 54 to 43. But remember, if it was banned in one state, a few more will probably follow as well. Reasons for the ban include the fact that TikTok is considered a security risk because it collects tons of personal data, just like pretty much any other big US tech company. But hey, this is a Chinese app, so it's very bad. And apparently because kids are doing stupid stuff that they see on TikTok, which is definitely true, but it's also not a TikTok only problem, you know? Luckily, this law will only make it so you won't be able to download TikTok from an app store anymore. But if you already have it on your phone, you're all good. Just like you're all good if you're following this channel, you know? Oh boy, the TikTok is getting banned. And I have to say, this is definitely a result of the recent hearing, the recent questioning of the TikTok CEO that we had, where they, they were asking him very hard hitting questions, such as, does the TikTok app connect to my local Wi Fi connection? My local Wi Fi connection, does it connect to it? Does it? And it's very difficult to answer such a difficult question, you know? I mean, I would just stand there, like, sort of frozen and in shock. I would just be like, wow, that question is just so stupid. Anyways, technically, there is still hope because the governor still needs to sign it into law, uh, which, I don't know, it's probably going to happen. I, I really don't know. I don't know anything about the Montana area, so I don't know, man. And the interesting thing is the legislation makes it illegal for app stores to offer TikTok. Uh, it does not, however, forbid those who already have TikTok from using it, uh, which is pretty cool. I think uh, if people like the app, sure, I mean, let them keep the app. And especially the creators from Montana on TikTok, it would probably be a major big deal for them if it just straight up got banned. So at least they already have it pre-installed on their phone. Uh, it will make it illegal for app stores to offer the app. But uh, how is it going to work if you would sort of like pirated or just downloaded from some other location would that be okay and then the violations of the bill could carry a penalty of up to ten thousand dollars which i was sort of like thinking oh man some poor kid is just gonna download the app from some third party and he's just gonna get caught and his parents are just gonna get stuck paying like ten thousand uh, dollars but luckily uh which would be enforced by Montana's department of justice the penalties uh apply to companies rather than individual users uh, which I think is pretty cool. And this sort of brings back the importance of VPNs because uh, if you have a VPN, you can just go to a different location where TikTok is available and then you can just download it if that is the app that you want to have on your phone and that you want to use. Uh, because recently some legislation uh, for the US, they've been trying to sneak in like a way to just make VPNs illegal, which is which is honestly just insane. Literally just taking options away from people and just, I don't know, it sort of like seems like the US, at least some people in the US are just trying to move into a more censored sort of an arena, you know, where they can just control all of the internet. But yeah, that is it. Let me know what you think. Do you even use TikTok? Uh, I use it to upload my videos. I don't really watch much stuff on it because I did for a little bit, but the thing is the algorithm is just, it's too good. Like, the thing is, it pisses me off how good it is. You know, I'll, like, I, I used to scroll on TikTok a little bit, and then an hour later, I would be like, wow, I just wasted an hour, and my brain is just fried from all of this stimulation. So, uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think down below, and please do indeed have a nice day.